Hello and welcome to my channel Infomart. I will be your friend, philosopher and guide in this journey. Here in Infomart, we are going to explain some concepts and topics in a very interesting way so that you can learn better. Today we are going to learn about air pressure and volume. We also call it Boyle's law. So let's go into the video. We all know that in this world everything that we can see or not is made up of atoms and molecules which is arranged in a particular way. And it's true for every substance like solid, liquid and gas. Now let's oversimplify this in Infomart style. Take a piece of paper. Now put pressure on it. So what will happen that the paper will get crumpled and reduce in size. From this we can say that when pressure increases, the volume decreases. Now let's take this concept and put it elsewhere. Imagine this is a box full of air. These are the air molecules present inside the box. Now let's put pressure on the box. What will happen that the air molecules inside the box have now come closer to each other and occur less space and as a result the volume has decreased. That's what Boyle's law states. This law was put forward by the Anglo-Irish chemist Robert Boyle in the year 1662. Boyle's law states that the pressure of a given quantity of gas varies inversely with its volume at a constant temperature. We can write from here that P is inversely proportional to V. In this mathematical form, we can say that P denotes the pressure and V denotes the volume of the gas. So from here we can write that P is equals to K multiplied 1 upon V where K is the proportional constant. Now if we take V on the other side by cross multiplying then we can write P multiplied by V is equals to K which means the product of pressure and volume is always a constant. This is the mathematical formula of Boyle's. Now you might wondering about the word constant temperature in the statement of Boyle's law. That's because if in any case the temperature increases, the molecules of the gas will move further and further away and as a result the volume of the gas will increase. So the word constant temperature in the statement of Boyle's law is very important point to remember. Now let's see how to derive a simple formula that will help you to solve some mathematical problems. Now imagine there is an amount of gas with an initial pressure, let's say P1 and initial volume of the gas is V1. After some changes has happened, let's consider the final pressure of the gas becomes P2 and the final volume becomes V2. Now we have already learned that when the pressure increases, the volume decreases and similarly if the pressure decreases the volume increases simultaneously. This change will happen in a certain way so that the product of initial pressure and volume will always be equal to the product of final pressure and volume of the gas. So that means initial pressure P1 multiplied by initial volume V1 will always be equal to the final pressure P2 multiplied by final volume V2. Because from Boyle's law we have learned that product of pressure and volume will always be a constant. Now let's go and let me explain some real life examples of this law. Now we have all seen that when an air bubble created underwater reaches the surface of the water gets bigger in size. So you might wonder why does this happen. So let's see. Consider this is a water body and this is a air bubble underwater. Here in this underwater region pressure is very high and as the air bubble goes up the water pressure decreases. Now we all know what happens when pressure decreases? Exactly, the volume increases. That's why when the air bubble reaches the surface of the water due to lower pressure its size gets bigger. From the concept of this law, you can also explain some basic day-to-day -day activities. 
like pumping a tire tube with gas, own breathing that is inhaling and exhaling, syringe to inject or withdraw fluid. So just try to explain these from the concept you have learned today and if you have any problem or difficulties to understand any of these things that I just said, just comment down below and let me know. I will definitely try to clear out your doubts. So that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching the video. Please like, comment and share the video. Subscribe to this channel if you want to see videos like this in future. And don't forget to press the notification bell so that you can be notified whenever new videos get published. Signing off for today.